My name is Astha Insa and uh, I live in Auckland, New Zealand. Um, I work as a social worker in school. I came to New Zealand about 12 years ago. It's been more than, um, I would say about 17 to 18 years ago that I took Naam Shabd from um, Guruji. At that time I was a school student, I was in 8th standard and I uh, studied at Shah Sat Namji Girls School. Um, during that time, you know, I also, I was part of uh, sports. Um, I played up to national level in yoga and it was all due to the blessings of Pitaji and his teachings. Um, from there on actually my life changed, you know. Very little things that you should focus more on your studies, you should meditate and if you're a sports person, you know, getting up early in the morning, working really hard and you know, having an aim basically, you know. I was in 8th standard and I already knew that I wanted to achieve bigger things in life, you know. I was aiming for high um, achievements at a very young age. So that was something that uh, only was possible because of Guruji. Because, you know, at that tender age, you people hardly know what they want to do, you know. So there was something to achieve more and always having that confidence because Pitaji, Guruji gave that confidence to us that, you know, nothing in life is impossible if you, if you dream about it, about it and then work hard on it, right? And what helped me the most was meditation because uh, in the morning we had a routine that, you know, we'll wake up in the morning, we'll uh, do our jogging rounds and then we'll do our warm up and do our games and after that we always used to do meditation every day. It was a routine and then same goes uh, for the evening session. So that meditation routine, that everyday routine actually helped me a lot. It helped me in uh, my focus, in concentration and you know I used to just study for five minutes before class and I would remember everything that the teacher was you know is about to um, ask us that day. Uh, and I used to be very surprised on myself and my memory but it was due to the meditation. So from a very young age I was really all um, is possible and was possible because of Guruji and his teachings. I always knew that I wanted to make a difference to people's life. That was because of Pitaji's teachings. So when I came uh, here and I found this as a career, I found social worker, um, you know, being a social worker, being my professional career, I was very happy that you know not only that I'll earn something but you know I'm doing something that makes a huge difference to somebody's life and you know it was a win-win situation for me so I did that and I worked in a sector um, uh, you know a government sector which deals with the top three to four percent of child abuse cases in uh, New Zealand a very horrible um, uh, you know heartbreaking cases that I had to see it taught me a lot of things. Um, it made me a stronger person. Um, it also, um, you know, showed me the darker side of the society and and how 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 these little children were suffering. And you know, it was really them in the in that position. But you know, uh, being a change for them, being somebody who could support them and uh, make their life uh, change for a better way was a big things and the big decisions that we were making um, and uh, you know at times the, it, at times things were very difficult you know you you couldn't see children hurt or in a stage where they are just about to die you know and uh, there's a life and death situation uh, in some of the cases so um, it was hard it was difficult but it taught me a lot of things and only because of Pitaji's teachings I was always you know this this strong person inside and I knew that I'm doing something um, you know valuable for these kids there's a big impact uh, on women empowerment uh, due to Guruji's teaching uh, for example you know we live in a society where uh, in India especially it's a male dominant country you know um, Everything that we do, uh, a woman is taken as uh, somebody that, you know, she's a giver. She'll always give something to the society, to the family, to the, you know, to the children. When I look at Pitaji's teachings and, uh, you know, him teaching us that, you know, there, uh, there shouldn't be any gender bias. You know, you shouldn't really define gender roles because he'll just say, uh, if you're a man, if you're a husband, there is no harm in doing household chores, you know, there's no harm in supporting your wife, you know, if she can go out and provide for your family, if she could earn, then why can't you do, do her work that she was doing? So, you know, doing that in partnership, 
uh, talking about equality and actually respecting women as a human being you know uh, it's sad that in india sometimes it is so such a male dominant country that we really take take women for granted all the hard work that she does all all the love and compassion that she has for not only for her family you know at the workplace she goes she puts everything in there she's so dedicated and she is that what, what do you call it she is a wonder woman you know she can do it all so you know pitaji um, recognizes that uh, pitaji loves daughters you know i think uh, he but i think he loves daughters more than anything so um, he 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 has taught us how to respect ourselves as well you know where where do we stand in our society you know he gives us that uh, confidence and that empowerment mm. not only that he's doing uh, he's doing so much for women feticide problems you know he says um, if you do not want a daughter you know bring that daughter to us you know we are here um, we look after her and uh, will do everything that uh, that a daughter needs and deserves uh, to live a respectful life in this society so that thing and also you know you must have heard that he's doing a lot um, for the prostitutes um 80% of the time it's not their fault you know they have been dragged there by probably some mafias or even sometimes the family sells them and the 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 horrific incidents you know there are so many examples that how they would have ended up there uh, how how guruji you know inspires uh, the followers to actually help that uh, those ladies to come out of that dark you know world and come in the main society and live a respectful life you know um if they need any medical assistance um that is provided by dera sacha soda any financial help is provided by dera sacha soda later on they are you know married in really prestigious um good families um and then they are leading very happy life and and this is something nobody could think about because uh, it's a stigma to talk about prostitutes uh, it's uh, nobody wants to talk about it it's it's taken as a shame uh, but pitaji taken that uh, courageous step um, he's done that uh, we have seen it and he's doing so so much more um, so i can only be thankful i can only be thankful to him and grateful to him is doing for women you know i feel really confident as a woman really empowered as a woman because of him i think countless people are getting benefited by his teachings uh, 6 million people that we already know of but i think many more um, that are listening to him uh, that have heard about him uh, i'm pretty sure even they are affected by his teachings you know the kind of um, uh, thought and the idea and the and the agenda that he has for the society uh, people are aware of it you know i can't say that uh, they haven't heard of it or they don't think about it i am pretty sure the the revolutionary work that he's doing is reaching more people more and more people day by day people are realizing what's the truth and what's not you know um, because he's working endlessly for the welfare of people for humanity so i again i cannot even count how many people he is affecting and how many uh, people's day to life day to day life is getting affected and in a in a positive way due to him and so there's a lot of positive impact of him on the society for example simple things like you know working for the environment you know india looks a lot more greener now um, than it used to look say 10 years ago uh, so all thanks to him or lots of tree plantation drives you know guinness uh, world records and um, other things are you know the, uh, he's doing so much for women as i talked about uh, you know um many things for for poor people there are lot of help uh, financial help for 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 ladies for for women for girl child who's not supported um there are such as so they supporting them so in new zealand we are doing a lot of welfare activities uh, to start with we are doing the tree plantation drive uh, we have been doing doing that about uh, from past 10 years i think um, there's a clothing bank for poor people the needy people that uh, you know do not have the uh, financial capacity to even buy clothing so you know our clothes that are in a very good condition used uh, that were about to throw that we were about to throw we keep them aside and we you know wash them iron them 
um, and put them in boxes for charity. So we are doing that. We are also providing food parcels um, during Christmas time and also all year around for, uh, for people uh, that need them. Um, other than that, blood donation uh, drive is uh, going on um, and many a times we have been on number one spot in the area or in um, you know uh, the area that uh, we live in. So there's a great enthusiasm in the, in the volunteers and that is due to... I think it's high time that the society uh, recognizes that they really need Guruji. They do need Guruji. You know, a lot of things that is happening in the world today, uh, you know, the wars, the pandemics, um, you know, there is no mental peace in the world today. Um, no, you know, the families, families are breaking. There are more and more nuclear families now. And even then, in those families, you will see there's hardly any peace because, you know, uh, a lot of things are change changing. We are, we are walking um, away from uh, godly life, if I, if I may so, say so. So, Pitaji brings us back to humanity. Pitaji brings us back to loving one another and doing something for each other in, in the family and in the society. So, I think there's a high need that society realizes that we need him. You know, and, uh, and the controversy that is going on, I think that is truly baseless. It doesn't have any base to it. I mean, uh, we, we trust the justice system and one day the justice will prevail. However, I would just like to say that, you know, I have been knowing him or, you know, um, or known his teaching since I was a little child. And what I'm, uh, you know, I've, I've come here now, I'm married, I have a three-year-old daughter and I work as a social worker in a different country. I can say that everything that has been said or people are talking about it currently um, is completely baseless. Um, and one day, one day the truth will come out and I'm sure of that and, and the world will see and realize it. I would just like to say, you know, when you experience something uh, on your own, that's when you start to believe on something. So uh, it comes from my experience that I have such a firm belief in, in Guruji. Uh, that is because from a very young age, I have spent time with him. I, I know his teachings and everything that I have achieved in my life. That is because of him, whether it's the happiness, the inner peace, um, the worldly success or anything that you can say, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy, I'm pretty content in my life, whatever I could achieve, I work as a social worker in the, you know, I worked as a social worker in the ministry before, now I work as a social worker in school, I work in the New Zealand community, I'm a part of this big welfare organization that Guruji has made. I feel so proud that I'm a follower of him. It comes all from experience, it comes all from uh, what I I have, um, you know, um, experienced myself. So, you know, know the truth. You first need to join, you know, you, you first need to come and see what his teachings are about, what he's actually saying and what he's actually trying to convey to the world.